remember correctly, we really kind of started with a trio, not the one that was dead. And we started with Larry on tenor, Ronnie Miles on lead, and I did the baritone, and Dave played the piano. Lawrence was not a part of the group. And we sang, if I remember correctly, at Soperton at Brother Mims, and we had a little meeting. See, shake his head. I, not, I remember a few things. Don't ask me about five minutes ago. Um, and we decided with a little session that we were going to start singing as the Butler Brothers. And we did. But there was a problem. And guess who it, job it fell to? Me. Daddy was involved. We were going with him. Him to, He preached and various other things. My job that Sunday, because that was on a Saturday, was to fire my daddy. Remember that letter? I don't believe I've been telling this story either. It's all right. Dad, Daddy and I are fine. I'm going to be up there with him for long. And because we wanted to sit, we knew we could not sing on Sundays. We knew that. Because we had to have this one there all the time. And so we did. We sang on Friday, Saturday. Back then you could sing every weekend about like the way it is in Jacksonville. And I did, and I had to go to Daddy's bedroom and not get a spanking that time. And I had to say, Dad, we're gonna go and put the Butler Brothers together. He was not happy, because he really didn't want us out singing. He wanted us to uh, stay and sing at the church. But we did, and uh, God blessed us along the journey, and, and we met some wonderful people, got involved with Mr. J.G. Whitfield, who really helped us step forward professionally in a lot of singings that we did. See if we get you down Just a look up to heaven's throne It won't be very long God will deliver you And you can sing this song Will my God deliver me Hurt me while on my knees My God who don't see me Set me free Oh, I'm gonna praise his name No, no I'm not ashamed I'm standing here today Cause God delivered me Will my God deliver me, hurt me while on my knees? My God who don't see me, set me free. Oh, I'm gonna praise his name. No, no, I'm not ashamed. I'm standing here today because God delivered me. My God delivered me, hurt me while on my knees. My God who don't see me, set me free. Oh, I'm gonna praise his name. No, I'm not ashamed. I'm standing here today because God delivered me. I'm standing here today because God delivered me.
How about that? 1991. Uh, at a church up in Conway. I don't know if you remember Lawrence or not. I mean, uh, Larry. And when we sang there, 1991. 71. 71. <laughs> hey, I said, I said, decades between write it down for me. In 1971, let's see. Were you born then, Jeff? Okay, we all right then. About four years ago, I got a phone call from a lady who saw us, Larry, that night singing in 1971 and wanted to know, uh, about, yeah, it was about four years ago, four and a half years ago maybe now, if we still sing or whatever. She wanted some of our old CDs. Her records that she had, she wore out. And she said, I'm in need of prayer. And please send me some of your music. And we did. So we touched a few people that remembered us from 1931, maybe that's what I meant, 1971, to, to, to recently. So we touched a few lives. We had a great time. I love to go to Alabama and sing. Traveling on, I feel like traveling on. 
for years before I surrendered to preach, I traveled 10 years on the road full time. One of the major groups I was with was the Dixie Echoes Quartet out in Pensacola, Florida. I traveled six years with Dixie Echoes. And uh, I've got to stand on stage with a lot of great people in my lifetime. God's been so good to me. But I'm saying this tonight with all honesty. I don't know of anybody else, and my wife will vouch this, I've told her time and time again, I don't know of anybody else that's treated me as, bad, as good and I have had more fun singing with these guys right here than anybody I've ever done professionally. And I mean it from all my heart. I love the book of brothers. I want the guys to know that they'll always be a part of my music legacy. Uh, as, and I'll tell everybody, and that's who you sung with. You can bank on I'll say the Butler Brothers Quartet out of Savannah, Georgia. And uh, so I appreciate you guys tonight for allowing me to come be a part of this. And uh, we did have some some quite long rehearsals. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I tell you, these guys, they wanted, they wanted to hear me when I say this. They wanted to perfect. They wanted to be the best they could be for Jesus. Amen. And that's what I told them, guys. We've got to, we've got to do diction. You've got to pronounce your word right because if people don't hear the message, then what are you singing for? And so they listened well, and we just watched this thing gel together. And I told Sherry when I left the house today, uh, my precious wife is in the back. Yes, right there yes she is. Uh, just wave at him, honey. She's back on the back row. That's my precious little redhead uh, back there. We, we celebrated 45 years of marriage just about a week and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
Six of us, plus, plus whoever was driving that car, and I don't know if they had anybody else, really or not. We all piled in one car. <laughs> but a bunch of young bucks won't see. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Since we're talking about buses and breakdowns and retirements, we've been through this retirement thing one time before. We were going to slack off a little bit. We had the bus. We we'll slack off a little bit and, and maybe just hang it up for a little while. And uh, I think we broke down and told Mary at some point in time, we're going to slow down, whatever. He says, uh, okay, well, uh, we just pulled up to a concert we're supposed to do. He says, uh, okay, that's what y'all want to do. How about go out there and get the PA system? We walked outside, picked up the, 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 where the bottom of the bus where you carry your luggage, and there was a brand new PA system that somebody <laughs> had just bought. And that's called retirement. So we kept seeing it. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> For all of the lost sinners. 
Sundays, maybe two a year because I passed and I believe in being in my church and so I wouldn't leave the church but every Friday, Saturday night somewhere we were about singing about almost every weekend so the Lord has blessed our trio for the years and uh, actually I come to Jacksonville in 1997 to start pastoring and my brother Jimmy who was living at that time was singing with my uncle and they were going by the Garden City Boys that time and uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as I left uh, I got there just the way God would have it the, the his job moved him to Metter, Georgia, just right up the road here. Moved to Metter, so he had to leave Jacksonville. So they come and say, "Hey, listen, why don't you sing with us?" 
And I said, well, if I'm going to stand beside my brother, let's pick up the old name again. We started out as three boys. I'm the oldest of three boys. Both my brothers then gone on with me with Jesus. But us three boys started, I hate to say this, in the 60s. <laughs> uh, the, the, around the piano, my dad played piano. We went to Nashville when we was 10 and 11 and 12 years old and cut our first record, our RCA records. Uh, Mercury records, I'm sorry. And uh, Jeff's actually got still his phone, I think. He still got that old clock on his phone. And, uh, Sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks. We did. We sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. We really did. We were so young, all right? But uh, then, then, long story short, we put the, the Jeff come along in 2000. My brother surrendered to preach and went to Bible college. And Jeff come and said, Dad, I like to try to sing that part. And uh, I'm glad he did. He's a great songwriter. Yes, he is. He's an unbelievable songwriter.
And if we have a reunion in four or five years, there are probably people here tonight that will be with us in a few years. It is critically important that you take care of what is most important. Come on. That's right. That's right. This song, we, we kind of get to going with it, and we clap and feel good and enjoy singing, and I think you'll enjoy it. But it asks a most serious question that I want you to think about. And if you decide tonight, before you go home, you would like someone to pray with you, mm. you find me. Yeah. And, and I will pray with you, or I'll have someone pray with you. We don't want you to leave unsettled and uncertain. Amen. Amen. This precious song, the old song. Many of these songs, those of us that were associated with my dad's church, we sang a lot of these songs that we've sung here tonight. And you remember them. There's not too many gospel concerts like this anymore. They've changed. They've changed the music. Young people have their own music that they like. And God bless them. But I like some of these old songs we've sung. So this asks the question. Will the circle be unbroken? I was standing by my window on a cold and lonely day. Black hers come in, coming to carry my mama away. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a There's a bear. 